the most common face mask we use is the dynamic protraction face mask. Some people know this as a petite face mask. Children can sleep with this um, on their side and on their back, just not on their stomach. Indications for this mask, 3A, 3C, neutral or brachycephalic patients. Um, contraindications, um, three Bs, because face masks don't work on three Bs, you can't stop the growth of the mandible. Any patient who has a vertical growth pattern that's class three or has a history of TMD, you don't want to use a face mask with a chin cup. The chin cup is to rotate the mandible backward. As it rotates backward, it's going to um, worsen the vertical dimensions of the face and it's going to put more pressure on the joint. Now obviously this needs to be fitted to some form of anchorage appliance. Historically, we would be using Hyraxes with reversible pads. More and more now we're using skeletal anchorage systems. Uh, an example is the Hugo de Klerk bollard. Um, another is a surgical mini plate. And that way we're getting the force through the bone and moving the whole maxilla. Whereas when you use any appliance, Yes, you are getting skeletal change, but you're also getting a lot of dental alveolar change. Medic is a class three um, maxillary deficient patient. Her treatment um, involved a bonded hyrax um, with reversible face mask. We're fitting the reversible face mask. First thing we do is um, make the uh, forehead strap and the chin strap comfortable. One thing I'll just show you here that there's a big risk factor where this has been fitted, where that is sliding down and this is sticking out, almost ready for a tracheostomy. Once you've customized the mask, any excess should be up here. But if the kid is find that annoying, you can cut this uh, anywhere you like and put that cap back on there. So we just pop the forehead strap up a bit, great. Mm -hmm. And the Allen key. You can see where the middle bar is. The middle bar should always be about 15 to 30 degrees downward and forward of the occlusal plane. And that gives us the best vector of pull. The elastics that uh, are used for face masks are heavy extra oral elastics. You could um, measure using a extra oral strain gauge. Uh, the gauge that we use is just a commercial fishing gauge. The force we want is about 600 grams, 600 grams per side. That's your face mask hook. That's incorrect. It's pulling horizontally out. So we're going to adjust now to show you the vector we want, 15 to 30 degrees. How does that feel? Not rubbing on your lip there? Good? Great, All right? At the follow-up visit, if the 600 grams is dropping down, you have two choices. You double the elastics or you use a smaller elastic, so a heavier force extra oral elastic. The mask is securely fastened here and comfortable enough that, can you open and close your mouth for me? And open and close. In that test, if she opens and that slides down, then we need to adjust that again, but that's a very good fit.